Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. In our today's video, we will talk about logarithmic function. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here a topic, logarithmic function. This will serve as the introduction of our series of videos about logarithmic function. So this topic is quite familiar with those students who are taking up general mathematics. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here the definition of logarithm and logarithmic function. Let me read first the definition for logarithm. Logarithm is the power or the exponent to which a number must be raised. So we have here the representation of logarithm. We have b raised to x. And then for the definition of logarithmic function, we have here a logarithmic function with a base of b where b is greater than 0 and b is equal to 1 is denoted by logarithm to the base of b and is defined by y is equal to logarithm of x to the base of b if and only if b raised to y is equal to x. This is our general form for the logarithmic equation or logarithmic function. We have here logarithm of x to the base of b is equal to y. Later on, I will give you the correct translation for that in, our, in the later part of our discussion today. Before we start going deeper with the topic, let's study first or let's have a quick review about the one of the mathematicians who's behind logarithm. We have here John Napier. He lived from 1550s up to 1670s, 17. He is a Scottish mathematician and theological writer who originated the concept of logarithms as a mathematical device to aid in calculation. He began working on logarithms probably as early as 1594, gradually elaborating his computational system where, whereby roots, products, and quotients could be quickly determined from tables showing powers of a fixed number used as a base. So we, need, we don't need to forget, forget this kind of people na naging foundation ng ating mathematics life. So let's move on. So for the logarithm, we have here the different parts of it. First, ito muna tayo ha. Mag-focus muna tayo rito. We have here this general form at ang basa dyan, you can read that as logarithm of x base b equals y. Okay, pwede rin naman logarithm base b of x equals y. So sir, uh, pares lang ba yan ng y is equal to this one? Okay, by reflexive property, pares lang po sila. Ang basa naman dito is that you have y equals the logarithm of x to the base of b. So wala silang pinagkaiba. Okay, continue lang natin. About the parts of the logarithm or logarithmic equation and function, this one, yung b natin dito, this b is your base, this x is your power, and this y is your exponent. So, punta natin to. I have here an example. Logarithm of 16 to the base of 2 is equal to 4. In this example, yung 2 natin, this is your base. Sana matutunan natin different parts of it. And then yung 16 natin, this one is the power. At yung 4 natin, this is your exponent. Okay? So I hope na in this given part of our video, natutunan nyo na yung different parts of logarithm. Let's move on with our topic. So we have here the table below shows the conversion of logarithmic equation the exponential equation. By the way, a little information lang. When we say logarithmic equation, it is the inverse of exponential equation. So, ibig sabihin yan, for after this video, I will teach you how to convert a logarithmic equation to exponential equation. And from exponential equation, I will teach you to convert it to logarithmic equation. So basically, papakita ko sa inyo table natin. We have here the logarithm of 32 
to the base of 2 is equal to 5. And the equivalent part of that log logarithmic equation to exponential equation is 2 raised to 5 is equal to 32. And then we have here the logarithm of 1 over 25 base of 2 is equal to negative 2. At ang naman counterpart sa exponential equation is 5 raised to negative 2 is equal to 1 over 25. And let's have the last one. We have here the logarithm of 3 base of 27 is equal to 1 third. Ang kanya naman counterpart in exponential equation, we have 27 raised to 1 third is equal to 3. So, I know na medyo nakakalito. Sir, medyo nakakalito. So, hintayin nyo lang po yung video natin about this topic, how to convert logarithmic equation to exponential equation and vice versa. So, I hope na natutunan nyo yung simple introduction natin about logarithmic function. Ngayon, Kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!